In Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, amen, alleluia, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Glory be to the Father, and Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, on the age of religious, amen, prayer and praises of the sixth hour of this blessed day. Offer to Christ my God and my King, teaching him to forgive my sins, from Psalms our Father David the Prophet. May his blessings be with us all, amen.
Glory be to you, our God, holy, holy, holy. The Holy Gospel according to Saint John, may his blessings be with us all. Amen. When the Comforter, the Holy Spirit of the Father, will send in my name as come, he shall teach you all things and bring to remembrance all things that I have said unto you. My peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world gives, do I give unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. You have heard how I said, I go away and come again unto you. If you love me, you would rejoice, because I said, I go unto the Father, for my Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it comes to pass, that when it comes to pass, you might believe. I will not talk much with you, for the Prince of this world comes and has nothing in me, but that the world may know that I love the Father. And as the Father gave me commandments, so I do arise, let us go from here. I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away, and every branch that bears fruit, he prunes, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me and I in you. Glory be to God forever. Amen. May the saying of God be fulfilled in peace. Worship you, Christ our God, with your good Father, Holy Spirit. For you have risen and saved us. Have mercy upon us. Your Holy Spirit, O Lord, whom you sent forth upon your holy disciples and honored apostles in the third hour, do not take away from us, O good one, but renew him within us, creating me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit away from me. O Lord, who sent down your Holy Spirit upon your holy disciples and your honored apostles in the third hour, do not take him away from us, O good one, but we ask you to renew him within us, O Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, the Word, a right and life-giving spirit, a spirit of prophecy and chastity, a spirit of holiness, righteousness, and authority, O the Almighty One, for you are the light of our souls. O you who give light to every man that comes in the world, have mercy on us. O Theotokos, you are the true vine who bore the cluster of life. We ask you, full of grace with the apostles, for the salvation of our souls. Blessed is the Lord our God, blessed is the Lord day by day. He prepares our way for his God of our salvation. Amen. O heavenly, comfort of the, o, o heavenly King, the comfort of the Spirit of Truth, who is present in all places and fills all the treasury of good things, and the life giver, graciously come and dwell in us and purify us from all the fire and a good one and save our souls. <laughs> Just as you were your disciples, O Savior, and gave them peace, graciously come also and be with us and grant us your peace and save us and deliver our souls. <laughs> Whenever we stand in your holy sanctuary, we are considered standing in heaven, O Theotokos. Of course, you are the gate of heaven, open for us the gate of mercy. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, who was crucified for us, have mercy upon us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, who rose from the dead and ascended to the heavens, have mercy upon us. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of the ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, forgive us our sins. O Lord, forgive us our iniquities. O Lord, forgive us our trespasses. O Lord, visit the sake of your people and heal them for the sake of your holy name. Our fathers and brethren who have fallen asleep, O Lord, repose their souls. O you are without sin, Lord, have mercy on us. O you are without sin, Lord, help us and receive our supplications. Yours is the glory, the dominion and ship of holiness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, bless us. Amen. O Lord, make us worthy to pray thankfully, our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Hail to you, we ask you, sin full of glory. The ever-virgin, the Theotokos, the mother of Christ, lift up our prayers unto your beloved Son, that he may forgive us our sins. Hail to the Holy Virgin, who has brought forth unto us the true light, Christ our God. Ask the Lord on our behalf that he may have mercy on our souls and forgive us our sins. O Virgin Mary, the Holy Theotokos, the faithful advocate for all mankind, 
Intercede on our behalf before Christ whom you bore, that he may forgive us our sins. Hail to you, O Virgin, the right and true Queen. Hail to the pride of our race who bore to us Emmanuel. We ask you to remember us, O our faithful advocate, before our Lord Jesus Christ, that he may forgive us our sins. Glory be to our God, holy, 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 the holy gospel. According to St. Matthew, may his blessings be with us all. Amen. And seeing the multitudes, he went up on a mountain. And when he was seated, his disciples came to him, and he has opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemaker, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they revile you and persecute you and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. You are the salt of the earth, but it, if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. You are the light of the world, a city that is set upon a hill cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lamp stand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men, and they may see your good works, and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Glory be to God forever. Amen. May the saying of God be fulfilled in peace. Worship you, Christ our God, with your good Father and the Holy Spirit, for you have risen and saved us. Have mercy upon us. O you who on the sixth day and in the sixth hour was nailed to the cross for the sin which our father Adam dared commit in paradise, tear the handwriting of our sins of Christ our God and save us. I cry to God and the Lord heard me. God hear my prayer and do not refuse my petition. Be attentive to me and hear me in the evening, in the morning and at midday. I say my words and he is my voice and delivers my soul in peace. <laughs> o Jesus Christ our God who was nailed to the cross in the sixth hour and killed the sin by the tree and by your death you made alive the dead man whom you created with your own hands and had died in sin. Put to death our pains by your healing of giving passions and by the nails which are nailed risk our minds from thoughtlessness of the earthly deeds and worldly lusts to the remembrance of every commandment according to your compassion. Since we have no favor nor excuse nor justification because of our many sins, we throw you implore to him who was born of you, O Theotokos the Virgin, for abundant and acceptable is your intercession with our Savior. O Holy Mother, do not exclude sinners from your intercession with him whom you bore, for he is merciful and able to save us, because he suffered for us to deliver us. Let your compassion speedily reach us, for we are exceedingly humble. Help us, O God, our Savior, for the glory of your name. O Lord, deliver us and forgive us our sins for the sake of your holy name. He wrought salvation in the midst of all the earth, O Christ our God, as you stretch your holy hands on the cross. Therefore all nations cry out, saying, Glory be to you, O Lord. We worship your incorruptible person, O good one, asking for the forgiveness of our sins, O Christ our God. For of your will you will be pleased to lift it up unto the cross, to deliver those whom you created with the, from the bondage of the enemy. We cried out unto you and give thanks to you for filled all with joy. O Savior, when you came to help the world, Lord, glory be to you. You are she who is full of grace, O Theotokos, the virgin. We praise you for through the cross of your son, Hades fell down and thus death with abolished. We were dead when we were raised and became worthy of eternal life and gained the light of the first paradise. Therefore, we thankfully glorify the immortal Christ, our God. We glorify you, O Saint Theotokos, for you have brought forth unto us the Savior of the whole world. He came and saved our souls. Glory be to you, our Master, our King, Christ, the pride of the apostles, the crown of the martyrs, the joy of the righteous, the firmness of the churches, the forgiveness of sins. We proclaim the Holy Trinity in one Godhead. We worship him. We glorify him. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, bless us. Amen. We believe. God the Father, the Pantocrator, creator of heaven and earth and of all things seen and unseen. 
We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us met and for our salvation, came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin Mary, and became man. And he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, suffered and was buried, and on the third day he rose from the dead according to the Scriptures, ascended into the heavens, he sits at the right hand of his Father, and he is coming again in his glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. Yes, we believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets, and in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, we confess one baptism for the remission of sin. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Kinie lay son, kinie lay son, Lord have mercy. Kinie lay son, kinie lay son, have mercy, O Lord. Kinie lay son, kinie lay son, hear us and have mercy. Kinie lay son, kinie lay son, Lord have mercy. Kinie lay son, kinie lay son, have mercy, O Lord. Kinie lay son, kinie lay son, hear us and have mercy. Kinie lay son, kinie lay son, Lord, have mercy. Kinie lay son, kinie lay son, have have mercy, O Lord. Kinie lay son, kinie lay son, hear us and have mercy. Kinie lay son, kinie lay son, Lord, have mercy. Kinie lay son, kinie lay son, have mercy, O Lord. Kinie lay son, kinie. Lay son, hear us and have mercy. Kinie lay son, kinie lay son, kinie lay son, kinie lay son, kinie lay son. Holy, holy, holy Lord of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of your glory and honor. Have mercy on us, O God, the Father, the Pantocrator. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord God of hosts, be with us. For we have no helper in our hardships and tribulations but you. Absolve, forgive, and remit, O God, our transgressions, those which we have committed willingly and those which we have committed unwillingly, those which we have committed knowingly and those which we have committed unknowingly, the hidden and the manifest. O Lord, forgive us for the sake of your holy name which was called upon us. Let it be according to your mercy, O Lord, and not according to our sins. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus, our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Glory and honor, honor and glory to the All-Holy Trinity, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Peace and edification to the one only holy, Catholic and Apostolic, Orthodox Church of God. Amen. Remember, O Lord, those who have brought to you these gifts, those on whose behalf they have been brought, and those by whom they have been brought. Give them all the heavenly reward. Pray for these holy and precious gifts, our sacrifices, and those who bring them, Lord, have mercy. Alleluia, this is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. 
O Lord, save us, O Lord, straighten our way. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Blessed be God the Father, the Pantocrator, Amen. Amen. Blessed be His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, Amen. Amen. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the power Father, one is the Holy Son, one is the Holy Spirit, Amen. Blessed be the Lord God forever, Amen. Praise the Lord, all you Gentiles, Lord, and all you peoples, for his mercy has been strengthened toward us, and the truth of the Lord abides forever, Amen. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hear it now and ever and on to the ages of the ages. Amen. Let us pray. Stand up for prayer. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Let us give thanks to the beneficent and merciful God, the Father of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. For he has covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us to himself, spared us, supported us, and has brought us to this hour. Let us also ask him, the Lord our God, the Pantocrator, to guard us in all peace, all this holy day and all the day. Is of our life. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. O Master, Lord God, the Pantocrator, the Father of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, we thank you for everything concerning everything and in everything. For you have covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us to yourself, spared us, supported us, and have brought us to this hour. Pray to God, may mercy and compassion on us, hear us, help us, and accept the supplications and prayers of his saints. For that which is given up, we have at all times, and make us ready to partake of the communion of his holy and blessed mysteries, and to keep the life and standing of our honored Father, the High Priest Pope Alatolajus II, and his primary apostolic liturgy, our our Father, the Bishop Abba Yusuf, and for the remission of our sins. Lord, have mercy. Therefore, we ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind, grant us to complete this holy day and all the days of our life in all peace with your fear, all envy, all temptation, all the work of Satan, 
the council of wicked men and the rising up of enemies hidden and manifest take them away from us and from all your people and from this table and from this your holy place but those things which are good and profitable do provide for us for it is you have given us the authority to trade on serpents and scorpions and upon all the power of the enemy Ministers of this day, the priests, the deacons, the clerus, all the people, and my weak self, be absolved from the mouth of the All Holy Trinity, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, and from the mouth of the one only Holy, Catholic and Apostolic Orthodox Church of God, from the mouth of the Twelve Apostles, from the mouth of the Beholder of God, St. Mark the Pure Apostle and Evangelist, Patriarch St. Severus, our teacher Dioscorus, St. Athanasius the Apostolic, St. Peter the Holy Martyr and the Archpriest, St. John Chrysostom, St. Cyril, St. Basil, St. Gregory, from the mouth of the 318 assembled at Nicaea, 150 at Constantinople, 200 at Ephesus, from the mouth of our own our Father, the Archpriest of Avatarus, from my own mouth being the least for bliss and full of glory is your holy name, O Father, Son, and Holy Spirit now and forever and unto the age of ages. Amen. Of our honor, Father, the Archpriest, Pope Abba Tawadros, and our Father, the Bishop Abba Oh. Uh -huh. 
the forgiveness of our sins through the intercessions of the seven angels and the heavenly orders O Lord grant us the forgiveness of our sins through the prayers of my lords and fathers the apostles and the rest of the disciples O lord grant us the forgiveness of our sins through the prayers of the blessed saint our teacher paul the apostle o lord grant us the forgiveness of our sins through the prayers of the beholder of god the evangelist mark the apostle o lord grant us the forgiveness of our sins through the prayers of the saints of this day each one according to their names O lord grant us the forgiveness of our sins through their prayers keep the life of our honored father the archpriest Pope Abba Tawadros, O Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. Through their prayers, keep the life of our honored and righteous Father Abba, you save the bishop o lord grant us the forgiveness of our sins we worship you o christ with your good father and the 
Holy Spirit, for you have risen and saved us. Have mercy on us, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your saintly spirit, my Lord, the honored Father, the Archpriest, Pope, Abba Tawa, Adros, and our Father, the Bishop, Abba Yusuf, may the clergy and all the people be safe in the Lord. Amen. So be Paul, the servants of our Lord Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, appointed to the gospel of God. A reading from the second epistle of our teacher Paul to the Thessalonians. May his holy blessing be with us. Amen. Now, brethren, concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our gathering, Together to him we ask you, not to be soon shaken in mind or troubled, either by spirit or by word or by letter, as if from us as though the day of Christ had come. Let no one deceive you by any means, for that day will not come unless the falling away comes first, and the man of sin is revealed, the son of perdition, who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped, so that he sits as God in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Do you not remember that when I was still with you, I told you these things? And now you know what is restraining that he may be revealed in his own time. For the mystery of lawlessness is already at work, only he who now restrains will do so until he is taken out of the way. And then the lawless one will be revealed, whom the Lord will consume with the breath of his mouth and destroy with the brightness of his coming. The coming of the lawless one is according to the working of Satan, with all power, signs, and lying wonders, and with all unrighteous deception among those who perish, because they did not receive the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this reason, God will send them strong delusion, that they should believe the lie, that they all may be condemned who did not believe the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. But we are bound to give thanks to God always for you, Brethren, beloved of, by the Lord, because God from the beginning chose you for salvation through sanctification by the Spirit and belief in the truth, to which he called you by our gospel for the obtaining of the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, brethren, stand fast and hold the traditions which we, you were taught, whether by, war, by word or our epistle. Now may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and our God and Father, who has loved us and given us everlasting consolation and good hope by grace, comfort your hearts and establish you in every good word and work. The grace of God the Father be with you all. Amen. The Catholic epistle from the second epistle of our teacher, St. Peter, may his blessing be with us all. Amen. Beloved, now I write to you the second epistle in both of which I stir up your, your minds by way of reminder that you may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandments of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior, knowing this first, that scoffer will come in the last days walking according to their own lusts and saying, where is the promise of his coming? 
For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. For this, this willfully for, forget that by the word of God, the heavens were of old and the earth is standing out of water and in the water by which the world that then exists perished being flooded with water. But the heavens and the earth, which are now preserved by the same word and reserved for fire until the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. But beloved, do not forget this one things that with the Lord one day is a thousand years and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some count slackness, but is long suffering toward us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens will pass away with a great noise, and the elements will melt with fervent heat, both the earth and the works that are in it will be burned up. Therefore, since all these things will be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be in the holy conduct and godliness? Looking for and hastening the coming of the day of God because of which the heavens will be dissolved, being on fire, and the elements will be melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we according to his promise Look for a new heaven and a new earth in which righteousness dwells. Therefore, beloved, looking forward to these things, be diligent to be found by him in peace, without spot and blameless. And consider that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, as also our beloved brother Paul, according to the wisdom given to him, has written to you as also in all his epistles speaking in them of these things in which are some things hard to understand which untaught and unstable people twist to their own destruction as they do also the rest of the scriptures you therefore beloved since you know this beforehand beware lest you also fall from your own steadfastness being led away with the error of wicked but grow in this grace and knowledge of our lord and savior jesus christ to him be the glory both now and forever amen do not love the worlds and the things of the worlds the world is passing away and its lust but he does he who does the will of god abides forever amen Hail to you. Yeah.
blessed are you indeed with your good Father and the Holy Spirit. For you have risen and saved us, have mercy on us. The Acts of our Fathers, the Apostles, their holy blessings be with us all. Amen. But Peter, standing up with the eleven, raised his voice and said to them, Men of Judea and all who dwell in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and heed my words. For these are not drunk, as you suppose, since it is only the third hour of the day. But this is what was spoken by the prophet Joel, and it shall come to pass in the last day, says God, that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your young men shall see visions, your old men shall see dreams, and on my men servants and on my maid servants I will pour out my spirit in those days." and they shall prophesy. I will show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the coming of the great and notable day of the Lord. And it shall come to pass that whoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. The word of the Lord shall grow, multiply, be mighty, and be confirmed in the Holy Church of God. Amen. God started in goodness, may he renew it for us for many years and peaceful times while our sins and iniquities are forgiven through the tender mercies of our merciful Lord. Amen. On this day, St. Eutychus departed. This saint was the disciple of St. John the Evangelist and was present at the coming down of the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost. After a period of time, he took the permission of St. John to go to the Apostle St. Paul and preach along with him. This saint was the young man who sat in a window and was singing into a deep sleep during St. Paul's sermon in Troas. He was overcome by sleep, and as Paul continued speaking, he fell down from the third story and was taken up dead. But Paul went down, fell on him, and embracing him said, Do not trouble yourselves, for his life is in him. Now when he had come up, he had broken bread and eaten, and talked a long while, even till daybreak he departed. As they brought the young man in alive, and they were not a little comforted. St. Eutychus preached the gospel and brought back many of the Jews and Gentiles to the faith of the Lord Christ and baptized them. He converted temples of idols to churches, and because of that he endured many tribulations and severe tortures. He was thrown in the fire which did not harm him and was cast to the lions which did not come close to him, but rather became friendly towards him, then was imprisoned for a long time. Finally he went to the city of Sebaste, where he lived until he departed in peace in a good old age. The blessing of his prayers be with us all. Amen. On this day also, Saint Piché, the brother of Saint Abahor, was martyred. This saint was a, was a native of the city of Antioch. Because of his piety and knowledge, he was ordained a priest. His brother Abahor and his mother went to Alexandria, where they received the crowns of martyrdom. This saint gave all his possessions to the poor and the needy and came to Alexandria to see their bodies and receive their blessings. When he saw the two bodies, he wept, then went to the governor and confessed the Lord Christ before him. The governor tortured him much until he delivered up his pure soul. The governor ordered his body burned, along with the bodies of his brother, his mother, and the bodies of other martyrs, eighty-eight in number. However, the fire did not harm them. Some believers came, took the bodies of the saints, shrouded them, and buried them with great veneration. The blessing of their prayers be with us all, and glory be to our God forever. Amen. God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, who was born of the Virgin, have mercy upon us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, who was crucified for us, have mercy upon us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, who rose from the dead and ascended into the heavens, have mercy upon us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of the ages of the holy trinity 
have mercy upon us. Let us pray. Stand up for prayer. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Oh, Master Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who said to his saintly honored disciples and holy apostles, many prophets and righteous men have desired to see the things which you see and have not seen them, and to hear the things which you hear and have not heard them. But as for you, blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. May we be worthy to hear and to act according to your holy gospels through the prayers of your saints. Pray for the holy gospel. Lord, have mercy. Remember also our master, all those who have bidden us to remember them in our supplications and prayers that you offer up unto you, O Lord, our God. Those who, those who have already fallen asleep, repose them. Those who are sick, heal them. Feel the life of us all, the salvation of us all, the hope of us all, the healing of us all, and the resurrection of us all. A Psalm of David, Alleluia. Your years are throughout all generations of old you laid the foundation of the earth and the heavens are the works of your hands they will perish, but you will endure. Alleluia. Let them exalt him in the church of his people and praise him in the seat of the elders. For he has made the family like a flock of sheep. The upright shall see and read. Rejoice, the Lord has sworn and will have no regret. You are a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. The Lord is at your right hand. Our saintly father, the patriarch, Pope Abba Tawadros the second, and our father, the bishop, Abba Yusuf, may the Lord keep your lives. Stand in the fear of God, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord of hosts. Bless, O Lord, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew the Evangelist and the pure disciple. Glory to you, O Savior and King of us all, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, to whom is glory forever. Amen. Now, as he sat on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately, saying, Tell us, when will these things be? And what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of the age? And Jesus answered and said to them, Take heed that no one deceives you. For many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and will deceive many, and you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, 
and there will be famous pestilences and earthquakes in various places and these are the beginning of sorrows then they will deliver you up to tribulation and kill you and you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake and then many will be offended will betray one another and will hate one another then many false prophets will rise up and deceive many and because lawlessness will abound the love of many will grow cold but he who endures to the end shall be saved and this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations and then the end will come therefore when you see the abomination of desolation is spoken of by daniel the prophet standing in the holy place whoever reads let him understand then let those who are in judea flee to the mountains let him who is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house and let him who is in the field not go back to get his clothes but woe to those who are pregnant and to those with nursing babies in those days and pray that your flight may not be in winter or on the sabbath for then there will be great tribulation such as has not been since the beginning of the world until this time no nor ever shall be and unless those days were shortened no flesh would be saved but for the elect's sake those days will be shortened then if anyone says to you look here is the christ or there do not believe it for false christ and false prophets will arise and show great signs and wonders so as to deceive if possible even the elect see i have told you beforehand therefore if they say to you look he is in the desert do not go out or look he is in the inner rooms do not believe it for as the lightning comes from the east and flashes to the west <laughs> so also will be the coming of the son of man be for wherever the carcass is there the eagles will be gathered together immediately after the tribulation of those days the sun will be darkened and the moon and the moon will not give its light the stars will fall from heaven and the powers of heavens will be shaken then the sign of the son of man will appear in heaven and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn and they will see the son of man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory and he will send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet and they will gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of the heaven to the other now learn this parable from the victory when its branch has already become tender and puts forth leaves you know that summer is near so you also when you see all these things know that it is near at the very doors assuredly i say to you this generation will by no means pass away till all these things are fulfilled heaven and earth will pass away but my words will by no means pass away glory be to god for In the name of the Father, and of the Son, 
and of the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Today actually is the last Sunday of the Coptic year. As you know, this Friday we will celebrate the Feast of Nairuz, in which, which is actually the beginning of a new Coptic year. Let us pray that the Lord may bless the crown of the new year with his goodness. And with the end of the Coptic year, the church reminds us with the end of the world to ask us to be ready and to be watchful because the world will end and we will stand before the throne of God to give an account for our life. And actually, regardless when the world will end, the end for each one of us is the end of our life. That's why we need to be ready. The Lord may come at any moment. We see every day children, youth, young adult, adult, elderly people pass away. So we need to be ready so when he comes, uh, we will be ready to give an account of our stewardship. But many people ask, what are the signs of the end of the world? And in the readings of today, we will see seven signs uh, about will happen before the end of the world. The first sign we read it in Matthew 24, that's the gospel that we just heard right now, and verse 14. When the Lord said, And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations, and then the end will come. So the first sign that the gospel of the kingdom will reach the whole world. And actually, we can see that this sign is already fulfilled. We can see how the gospel reached every continent, every country in the world. So no one actually can say we did not hear the good news of salvation because the word of God reached every way. And also orthodoxy, which is the true worship of God and the true understanding of the scripture reached in, in all the continents and all the countries in the world. It's very difficult to find a country that has no Orthodox Church in it. So thank God, actually, that as St. Paul said in Romans chapter 10, verse 18, which is a quote from the book of Psalms, their sound has gone out to all the earth and their words to the end of the world. So this actually the first sign and this sign is already fulfilled. The second sign is the release of Satan from his bond and his bondage and the general apostasy. And you read, you read about this today in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, which is the Pauline letter of today. St. Paul said in verse 3, 2 Thessalonians 2, 3, Let no one deceive you by any means, for that day will not come, the second coming of Christ will not come, unless the falling away, falling away apostasy comes first 
and the man of sin is revealed the son of perdition. Then he said a verse, and now you know what is restraining that he may be revealed uh, in his own time. For the mystery of lawlessness is already at work. Only he who now restrain will do so until he is taken away out of the way. And then the lawless one will be revealed whom the Lord will consume with the breath of his mouth and destroy with the brightness of his coming. So, St. Paul is saying there is a power that is restraining the appearance of the lawless one and also the apostasy. When this power is removed, then apostasy will happen and the uh, lawless one will appear. What is this power that's restraining right now? It is the power of the Holy Spirit. It is the grace of the Holy Spirit. Then, before the end, this power, the grace of the Holy Spirit, yes, during the time of the Holy Spirit, uh, the grace of the Holy Spirit exists, the lawlessness exists, but not in a powerful form not like before the new covenant. But when actually this power of the Holy Spirit will be removed, will be taken, then the evil will be like before the, uh, the coming of Christ, the first coming of Christ, like the old covenant in the Old Testament. And because of this evil and the appearance of the lawless one, Apostasy, falling away, will happen. And we can see actually right now how many, many people became atheists all over the world, how many people convert from Christianity to other religions, and even many Christians, they don't follow the right way in worshiping God and in understanding the scripture, we see many Christians support same-sex marriage, support transgenderism, etc. And also those who are following the right way and the right understanding of the scripture, they don't have the zeal. Many of us are Christian by names, not by our life. We are not the light of the world anymore. We are not the salt of the earth. So I can see also this second sign is already started. The falling away and the apostasy. Many people actually uh, leaving the churches uh, and leaving their faith. Even with the covid uh, this virus actually that closed the churches for so many weeks and after this the attendance of the churches now is regulated with many precautions this actually make the love of many grow cold as the Lord has said when he comes before he comes the love of many people will grow cold because people are not like before Every Sunday they are eager to go to church and they are eager to worship. Now the spirit of lukewarmness, spirit of laziness start to take them. And uh, I wonder when actually uh, the church will be open like before, whether the people will have the zeal to come every Sunday early to worship or not. So I can see the apostasy already is working. And I can see how uh, many people are falling away from the true faith. This brings us to the third sign. With the removal of the power of the Holy Spirit from the world, 
then actually the uh, appearance of many false prophets and many false Christ and this will be preparing for the appearance of the Antichrist. The Antichrist, St. Paul called him the lawless one. Lawless one means he will not follow the law of Christ. And nowadays, we can see people in the name of Christ. They are deceiving believers. And unfortunately, many people are deceived by their teaching. Many people and preachers, they are taking the standards of the world to, and make them the standards of Christianity. And when they preach, they will tell you, Christ wants this, Christ agree on this. But you will not find one verse they are using to support what they are saying. I personally read many articles saying that what Christ is teaching. And in all this article, you cannot verse, find one verse supporting what they are teaching. And if you compare what they are teaching with the scripture, totally again is the scripture. That's why the Lord warned us. Don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. Many false teachers and many false prophets will come in the name of Christ. So if they tell you Christ is here or there, Christ in this teaching or in this preaching, don't believe it. Compare everything again is the truth of the scripture. And at the end, the lawless one, the Antichrist, will appear and he will say, I am the Christ. And the Antichrist actually will sit in the temple of God and will demand people to worship him as they worship God. So this will be the third sign. And with the coming of the Antichrist, and even before the coming of the Antichrist with the appearance of many false prophets and false teachers, there will be great tribulation on earth. Great tribulation on earth. And that is the fourth sign. Great tribulation. And as the Lord said, since the beginning of the world, there was no tribulation such this tribulation. Because the Antichrist will torture the people who do not follow him severely. That's why the Lord said, if God did not shorten these days, no one will be saved. But for the elect's sake, he will shorten these days. I'm not saying this to scare you, but Christ who is with us, is stronger. Actually, he will destroy the lawless one with the breath of his mouth. So not even with a war, not even with a fight, just by a blow from his mouth, he will be destroyed completely. So don't be scared. Just as the Lord told us in the gospel of today, we need to endure. He who endure to the end will be saved. Be strong in your, fa in your faith, cling to God, pray to his power to support you, endure to the end, and you will be saved. And Christ will not leave you during this time. He will not leave those who cling to him and who actually uh, ask him to be our supporter during this time. And a beautiful thing that will happen during this time as a support from God that he will allow Elijah 
and Enoch to appear to support the Christian during these times. And we read about the appearance of Elijah and uh, Enoch in Revelation chapter 11 from verse 3 to verse 8. And I will give power to my two witnesses, and they will prophesy 1,260 days closed in sackcloth. These are the two olive trees and the two lampstands standing before the God of the earth. And if anyone wants to harm them, fire proceeds from their mouth and devours their enemies. And if anyone wants to harm them, he must be killed in this manner. These have power to shut heaven so that no rain falls in the days of their prophecy, and they have power over waters to turn them to blood and to strike the earth with all plagues as often as they desire. When they finish their testimony, the beast that ascends out of the bottomless pit will make war against them, overcome them, and kill them and their dead bodies will lie in the street of the great city which is spiritually is called to Sodom and Egypt where also our Lord was crucified. So God will send these two great prophets who did not die, who ascended alive to heaven. He will send them because every person should die. He will send them at the end of the days to support the prophets, to support the Christian during the time of the great tribulation and during the time of the uh, beast, uh, the Antichrist. So, what will happen? The, uh, the gospel will, will reach all the countries in the world. Then the general apostasy will happen. With the general apostasy, the appearance of the Antichrist, and with the appearance of the Antichrist, there will be the Great Tribulation, and the Great Tribulation may start before the appearance of the Antichrist, and also the appearance of Elijah and Enoch to support the believers, but at the end of their testimony, they will be killed because every soul should uh, die as we read in the scripture. Then what will happen? The Israel will believe. Israel will believe in Christ. The Jews actually who rejected Christ will believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. When he came, he came to his own and his own rejected him. But as St. Paul said in Romans chapter 11, verse 25 and 26, For I do not desire, brethren, that you should be ignorant of this mystery, lest you should be wise in your own opinion, that blindness in part has happened to Israel, until the fullness of the Gentiles has come in. So this blindness, which means their rejection of Christ, will happen just in part, until all Gentiles will believe in Christ. The gospel will be preached in all the countries of the world. And so all Israel will be saved, as it is written, the deliverer will come out of Zion and he will turn away ungodliness from Jacob. For this is my covenant with them when I take away their sins. So, St. Paul said that this uh, blindness happened partially, but at the end of the world, all Israel will believe in Christ and return to Christ. And 
with their return and this will be the last sign number seven there will be like a spiritual revival in the whole world in the same chapter chapter romans 11 verse 15 we read for if their being cast away is the reconciliation of the world meaning when the jews when israel rejected christ the rest of the world was reconciled to god so their rejection the rejection of israel when they rejected christ brought reconciliation to the rest of the world saint paul continued and said what will be their acceptance so when israel will return to god what will be their acceptance be but life from death life from death so actually there will be a revival in the whole world like and, and saint paul explained this as life from death so these are the seven signs that happened before the second coming of christ uh, is the gospel will be preached in the whole world then the power of the holy spirit will be removed which actually will cause apostasy many people will fall away and this will be the last chance for satan he will know that he have a short time before he will be bound eternally in the lake of fire that's why during this time the, of the apostasy the, there will be great tribulation the antichrist will appear and many false christ and false prophets and elijah and enoch will come to support the world during this great tribulation but the good news also israel will believe in christ and with the acceptance of israel there will be a great revival in the whole world so the message to us here as the lord said what i say to you i say to all uh, endure and watch we are called to endure we are called to watch we are called to be ready for the second coming of christ and again although this news about the events are a little bit scary but we are not afraid we are not fearful because we know he who is with us is stronger than those who are against us glory be to god forever and ever amen blessed are they in truth saints of this day each one according to his name the beloved of Christ intercede on our behalf O Lady of us all the Theotokos Mary the mother of our Savior that he may forgive us our sins pray to the Lord on our behalf O blessed saying our teacher paul the apostle that he may forgive us our sins blessed be the father and the son and the holy spirit the perfect trinity we worship him and glorify him let us pray Stand up for prayer. Peace be with you and with your spirit. Again, let us ask God the Pantocrator, the Father of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, 
We ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind. Remember, O Lord, the peace of your one only holy Catholic and Apostle. Church. Pray for the peace of the one holy Catholic and Apostolic Orthodox Church of God. Lord have mercy. This which exists from one end of the world to the other, all peoples and all flocks bless the heavenly peace and down into all our hearts. Even the peace of this life graciously grant to us, the leader, the army, the ruler, the counselors, the multitudes, our neighbors, our coming in and our going out, adorn them with all peace. O King of peace, grant us your peace, for you have given us all things. Acquire us to yourself, O God, our Savior, for we know none other but you, your holy name we utter. May our souls live by your Holy Spirit, and let not the death of sins have dominion over us, we your servants, nor over all your people. Lord, have mercy. Again, let us ask God the Bantu Krat, or the Father of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. We ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind, to remember, O Lord, our honored patriarch and father, the archpriest, Pope Baba Tawadros II, and his spiritual brethren, the patriarch of Antioch, Mark Ignatius Ephraim II, and the patriarch of Eritrea, Bon Antonios, and his partner in the apostolic liturgy, our father, the bishop, Abba Yusuf. <laughs> For our high priest, Pope Abba Tondros II, Pope and Patriarch and Archbishop of the Great City of Alexandria, and his brother in the Apostolic Liturgy, the Patriarch of Antioch, Mark Ignatius of Prime II, and the Patriarch of Richard Abu Antonios, and his born in the Apostolic Liturgy, our Father, the Bishop Abba Yusuf, and for Orthodox Bishop. Lord have mercy. Keep them secure for us for many years in peaceful times, fulfilling that holy archpriesthood with which you have entrusted them for yourself according to your holy and blessed will, rightly handling the word of truth, shepherding your people in purity and righteousness, and all the orthodox bishops, hegemons, priests, and deacons, and all the fullness of your one only holy Catholic and apostolic church, grant them and us peace and safety in every place, their prayers which they offer on our behalf and on behalf of all your people as well as ours on their behalf receive them upon your holy rational altar in heaven as a sweet savor of incense all their enemies visible and invisible trample and humiliate under their feet speedily as for them keep them in peace and righteousness in your holy church Lord, mercy. again let us ask god the pantocrator the father of our lord god and savior jesus christ we ask and entreat your goodness o lover of mankind Remember, O Lord, our assemblies, bless them. Pray for this holy church and for our assemblies. Lord, have mercy. Grant that they may be to us without obstacle or hindrance, that we may hold them according to your holy and blessed will. Houses of prayer, houses of purity, houses of blessings, grant them to us, O Lord, and to your servants who will come after us forever. The worship of idols utterly uproot from the world. Satan and all his evil powers trample and humiliate them under our feet speedily. The offenses and their instigators abolish. Let the dissensions of corrupt heresies cease. The enemies of your holy church, O Lord, as at all times now also humiliate, strip their vanity, show them their weaknesses speedily, bring to not their envies, their intrigue, their madness, their wickedness, and their slanders which they commit against us. O Lord, bring them all to no avail. Disperse their counsel, O God, who disperses the counsel of Ahithophel. Amen, Lord, have mercy. Arise, O Lord the God, let all your enemies be scattered, and let all who hate your holy name flee before your face. 
But let your people be in blessing, thousand of thousand, and ten thousand times ten thousand doing your will. In the wisdom of God, let us attend. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, truly. We believe in one God, God the Father, the Pantocrator, creator of heaven and earth and of all things seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin Mary, and became men. And he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, suffered and was buried, and on the third day he rose from the dead according to the Scriptures, ascended into the heavens, he sits at the right hand of his Father, and he is coming again in his glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. Yes, we believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets and in one holy covenant apostolic church for their mission of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. I have sinned. Forgive me. Let us pray. Stand up for prayer. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. O oh God, the great, the eternal, who formed a man in incorruption, and death which entered into the world through the envy of the devil, you have destroyed by the life-giving manifestation of your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ. You have filled the earth with the heavenly peace, by which the host of angels glorify you, saying, Glory to God in the highest, peace on earth and goodwill toward men. Pray for perfect peace, love, and the holy apostolic greeting. Lord, have mercy. According to your goodwill, O God, fill our hearts with your peace. Cleanse us from all blemish, all guile, all hypocrisy, all craftiness, and the remembrance of vice bearing death. And make us all worthy, O our Master, to greet one another with a holy kiss, that without casting us into condemnation, we may partake of your immortal and heavenly gift in Christ Jesus our Lord. O our good God, who appointed him man and a self to chant in your holy places, O you who granted David the prophet to chant with the psaltery, the harp, and the lyre with ten strings, O you have set out of the mouths of babes and nursing infants, you have perfected praise, O you established praise in your holy church, that your people may worship you with sound chant spiritual songs. We ask you, O Lord, to give your grace to this, your servant, so that they may do the labor of the Psaltus in your holy church, and sing to you with hymns and spiritual songs, chanting from their hearts to the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. O our God, who commanded us through the prophet David, my saying, Sing to the Lord a new song and praise the Lord. For a psalm is a good thing, let praise be sweet to our God. We ask you, O Lord, to grant your servant the grace of praise and chanting in the Holy Church. Grant them the ability to chant with good understanding, so that they may chant you from the depths of their hearts in the spirit of prayer and worship. Grant that they may serve you with their heart, their mouths, and their hymns, and accept their chance with savor of incense before you. Remove from them the spirit of pride, boasting, and love of vain glory, make them good servants. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. O 
Master, Lord God, the Pantocrator, the Father of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, we ask and entreat your goodness all over of mankind for this your servant who stand before you, who came to your Catholic and Apostolic Church, shine on them with the sweetness of your holy words, grant, grant the, them to chant spiritual praises of understanding. May they become worthy to begin their service in faithfulness and worship you in understanding and purity. Sanctify them, bless them, fill them with your fear, guard them with your angelic power, enrich them with every good gift and perfect talent, that they may live according to your holy and blessed will that's pleasing to you and be called to the most perfect and great growth of your Holy Spirit by your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Michael Epsaltus in the Holy Orthodox Church of God, Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Blessed be God the Father, the Pantocrator. Amen. Blessed be His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Amen. Some will exalt us in the Holy Orthodox Church of God, Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Blessed be God the Father, the Pantocrator. Amen. Blessed be His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Amen. Church of God, Amen. Genefran, Emifiot, Emichiri, Member Blumait, Oer, O Noti, and O Ot, Fismara, Ot, and J, if not if you'd be Pantocrato, Amen. Fismara, Ot, and J, if monogenes and Shiri, Isos, Be Christos, Ben Choice, Amen. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Para. Amen. We ask and beseech you, O Lord God the Pantocrator, accept this your servant, Cyril, as a reader in your holy church and instruct him in your commandments, give him understanding of your justifications, and grant to him that with fear he may show obedience to you, rendering him worthy to be a chosen vessel, an honorable reader before you, that he may also find your mercy with those who through the ages have pleased you. For you are a God who holds mercy and kindness, and to you is due glory, honor, and adoration from all. O Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and forever, and the age of the ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. O great God, rich in his gifts, who have granted order to your church and established grace of ministry to it and poured out your gifts on your servant. Sanctify this your servant also and appoint him as reader and make him worthy with all wisdom and understanding to perform the meditation and reading of divine words and fill him with your gift while he is preserved in blameless conduct by the mercies of your only begotten Son, through whom and with whom glory, honor, and dominion are due to you, with your good life giving and consubstantial most holy spirit, now and forever and the age of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. O 
great and loving God in whose hands all things are held and by whose command all things are controlled, who are near to all and stand by all. Look upon this your servant Cyril, who is presented by us to be a proclaimer of your holy words of the Old and New Testament, that he may expound to the people your holy words and your right precepts, and proclaim your holy, divine, and salutary doctrine, which you have appointed for the help and salvation of our souls. O God, instruct him in your commandments, and make him understand your justification, and illuminate the eyes of his mind to the light of the knowledge of your commandments, and grant to him that with purity of heart and unfeigned faith he may perform their meditations and reading for the upbuilding of those who hear to the praise and glory of your kingdom, O Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and forever on the edge where it is. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Our Master and Lord God Almighty, who knew from the first the number of His elect in the whole world, and who called them from the first who chose Isidras, your servants, you give him wisdom that he might read your lot, your people. You have now chosen your servant Cyril, who is designated a reader. Give him wisdom and spirit of prophecy, that he may perform the practice of your holy words for your people whose blameless conduct in the grace and compassion of your only begotten Son, our Lord and our God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. This is the first rank of the deaconate to which you have been admitted. It is necessary for you to learn each one of the readings of the Holy Scriptures, the breath of God which have been entrusted to you to instruct the people thereby. For this is a great work, the one who is assigned to it must be like a lamp shining on the lamp stand, lest you fill the ears of those who hear you with what you read, but yourself be rejected. Instead, remember at all times the word of the Lord, which he said, let him who reads understand, so that through your good progress and your advancement in this rank, your words might therefore be seen, and you might be given approval to be advanced to the higher rank. Therefore, this is so, that those who have brought you in the midst might have a boast that they did well, to give you a vote of approval in the proper time and order in Jesus Christ our Lord. O Lord, hear us. O Lord, have mercy. O Lord, bless us. O Lord, God of hosts, who have set us in the inheritance of this ministry, who know the minds of men and examine hearts and reins, hear us according to the multitude of your mercies, and cleanse us from every defilement of body and spirit, take away our sins like a cloud, and our iniquities like darkness, fill us with your power and the grace of your only Son and the working of your most Holy Spirit, make us sufficient that we may be ministers of your new covenant, so that we may be able, as befits your holy name, to stand before you to perform the priestly ministry for your divine mysteries, and do not abandon us to participate in the sins of others, but rather wipe out our own and grant to us, O Lord, that we may do nothing wrong through error, but give us knowledge to choose those who are worthy and to present them to you, and accept as subdeacon and make perfect these your servants who are here present and await your heavenly gift, for you are kind and very merciful toward all who call upon you. 
and strong is your power and that of your only Son and of your most Holy Spirit now and forever and the age of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. The grace which fills our deficiency shall come upon these brothers whom we have nominated for this rank and order of the subdiaconate in the Holy Church of God which has escaped from dangers and afflictions Pray all of you that the Holy Spirit might come upon them. Amen. Amen. Ye Lord, make them worthy of the calling of the subdiaconate, so that they may deserve through your kindness as befits your holy name to labor and serve in the, you, in the temple of your glory and find mercy before you. For you are a merciful and compassionate God, and to you is your glory, honor, and dominion unto the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now, forever on the age of ages, Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. O Master and Lord God Almighty, who in the tent of testimony revealed those who adorn the temple as guardians of the holy vessels, now, our Master, make your face shine upon your servants who have been granted to be subdeacons by the discriminating vote of those who have brought them into the midst. Fill them with the Holy Spirit so that they might worthily handle the liturgical vessels, that they might stand at the doors of the temple and might light the lamp of the house of the pray of your prayer and you, you shall plant them in your church as olive tree laden with fruit which produces at all times fruit of righteousness through the grace, compassion, and love of mankind of your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Look upon us, O Lord, and on your ministry and cleanse us from every stain while you give grace from heaven to this your servant so that they may deserve by your kindness blamelessly to be occupied in this ministry to which you have called them and find your mercy with all who through the ages have pleased you for you are a god who holds mercy and kindness and from all is due glory honor and adoration to you and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, on the age of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We call you in the Holy Orthodox Church of God. Amen. Amen. Michael, a subdeacon in the Holy Orthodox Church of God, in the Coptic Orthodox Diocese, of the Southern United States of America. Amen. Amen. We call you Michael a subdeacon in the Holy Orthodox Church of God in the Coptic Orthodox Diocese of the Southern United States of America. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Blessed be God the Father, the Pantocrator. Amen. Blessed be His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Amen. We call you in the Holy Orthodox Church of God. Amen. Amen. Gabriel, a subdeacon in the Holy Orthodox Church of God in the Coptic Orthodox Diocese of the Southern United States of America. Amen. Amen. We call you Gabriel a subdeacon in the Holy Orthodox Church of God in the Coptic Orthodox Diocese of the Southern United States of America in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. One God, Amen. Blessed be God the Father, the Pantocrator. Amen. Blessed be His only, only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Amen. We call you in the Holy Orthodox Church of God. Amen. Amen. Raphael, a subdeacon in the Holy Orthodox Church of God in the Coptic Orthodox Diocese of the Southern United States of America. Amen. Amen. We call you Raphael, a subdeacon in the Holy Orthodox Church of God in the Coptic Orthodox Diocese of the Southern United States of America in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Blessed be God the Father, the Pantocrator, Amen. Amen. Blessed be His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, Amen. Amen. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Amen. 
Amen. We give thanks to you, our Almighty Lord, and we praise and glorify your holy name because you have deigned to do with us and poured out your gift on these your servants. Again, we ask and beseech you, O Lord, hear us according to the multitude of your mercies, and may the blessing of the subdiaconate be pleasing to you, which has been performed on these your servants through your kindness. Grant to them that purely and innocently they may fulfill all their ministry so that they may find your peace through the mercy of your only son through whom and with whom is due to you glory duration now and forever and the age of the ages amen oh have mercy Lord have mercy Lord have mercy glory and honor honor and glory to the all holy trinity the father and son and the holy spirit now and forever and the age of the ages amen peace and edification to the one only holy Catholic and Apostolic Orthodox Church of God. Amen. Kiri, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. My sons, you have been entrusted with a good grade, which is the subdiaconate. Therefore, you shall perform those things which have been assigned to you. They are that you should follow after the deacon to assist him in the work of ministry. As he follows after the presbyter, it is necessary for you, therefore, to watch over the doors of the house of God, which is the church, so as not to allow an unbeliever to enter it, neither an unrepentant nor the heretic at the time of the holy services. When the deacon proclaimed, let none of the catechumens stand here, nor anyone who does not receive of the holy mysteries. Then you shall pay attention to watch with great care over the doors of the church, since therefore you have been entrusted to touch that which is holy, the holy liturgical vessels, therefore you shall realize the measure of the honor and the gift which have been given to you as wise and faithful servant who eagerly does the will of his master, so that you may, you, you may receive the fruit of the heavenly calling through Christ Jesus our Lord. Worthy Lord God of truth, being before the ages and reigning forever, who dwells in the highest and looks upon the lowly, who has created the heaven, the earth, the sea, and all that is there, and the Father of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, 
by whom you have created all things visible and invisible, who is seated upon the throne of his glory, and who is worshipped by all the holy powers. Before whom stand the angel, the archangels, the principalities, the authorities, the thrones, the dominions, and the powers. And look toward the years. You are he around whom stand the cherubim full of eyes, and the seraphim with six wings, praising continuously without ceasing. Say. Let us add the cherubim worship you and the seraphim glorify you, proclaiming and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord. Excellent is the light of your essence, ineffable is the power of your wisdom, and no manner of speech can measure the depth of your love toward mankind. You as lover of mankind have created me as man. You had no need of my servitude, but rather I had need of your love. Because of the multitude of your tender mercies, you have brought me into existence when I was not. You have raised heaven as a roof for me and established the earth for me. To walk upon. For my sake, you have bound the sea. For my sake, you have manifested the nature of animals. You have subjected all things. Under my feet, you have not left me in need of any of the works of your own. <coughs> you are He. Who formed me and laid your hand upon me and inscribed in me the image of your authority. 
you have placed in me the gift of speech and opened for me paradise to enjoy and have given to me the learning of your knowledge. You have manifested to me the tree of life and made known to me the sting of a death of one plant. Have you forbidden me to eat that of which you have said to me of it only? Do not eat, but according to my will, I did eat. I put your law behind me by my own counsel and became slothful toward your commandments. I plucked for myself the sentence of the into salvation as a good shepherd you have sought after that which had gone astray as a true father you have traveled with me I who had fought You have bound me with all the remedies that lead to life. You are he who has sent to me the prophets for my sake, I the sick. You have given me the law as a help. You are he who ministered salvation to me when I disobeyed you. Oh, Lord. As true light you have shone upon the lost and the Ignora Time. 
have come to us on earth you have come into the womb of the virgin you the infinite being god did not consider equality with god a thing to be grasped but emptied yourself and took the form of a servant and blessed my nature in yourself and fulfilled your law on my behalf you have shown me the rising up from my fall you have given release to those who were bound in Hades you have lifted the curse of the law you have abolished sin and the flesh you have shown me the power of your authority you have given sight to the blind you have raised the dead from the tombs you have established nature by the word you have manifested to me the economy of your tender mercy you have borne the oppression of the wicked you have given your back to the scourge your cheeks you have left to open to those who smite for my sake O my master, you have not hidden your face from the shame of You have 
manifested the greatness of your care for me you have slain my sin and you or to you have brought my first fruit up to heaven you have shown me the manifestation of your coming wherein you shall come to judge the living and the dead and give each one a according to his According to your mercy, O Lord, and not according to our I offer you, O my master, I offer you, O my master, I offer you, O my master, the symbols of my freedom I write my works according to your sayings you are he who has given me this service full of mystery you have given me the partaking of your flesh and bread and In the same in which you give yourself up of your own will 
an authority alone You took bread into your holy hands which are without spot or blemish blessed and life giving. We believe that this is true. Amen. You Toward heaven to God who is your father and master of everyone and when you had given thanks Amen. you blessed it Amen. you sanctified it and we glory if I you broke it and gave it to your own saintly honorable disciples and holy apostles saying Take eat of it, all of you, for this is my body, which is broken for you and for many, to be given for the remission of sins. This do in remembrance of me. This is true. Amen. Likewise, also after they had supped, you took a cup and mixed it of the fruit of the vine and water, and when you had given thanks, Amen. you blessed it, Amen. you sanctified it. Again we believe, we confess, and we glory for you. Give it also to your own saintly, honorable disciples and holy apostles, saying, Take the drink of it, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many to be given for the remission of sins. This do. And remembrance of me. This is also true, true. Amen. For every time you eat of this bread and drink of this cup. You proclaim my death, confess my resurrection, and remember me till I come. Amen, 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 your death, O Lord, we proclaim your holy resurrection. And ascension into the heavens we confess, we praise you, we bless you, we thank you, O Lord, and we in 
entreat you, O our God. Therefore, O our Master, as we commemorate your coming to earth, your life-giving death, your burial for three days, your resurrection from the dead, your ascension into the heavens, your sitting at the right hand of your Father, and your second coming from the heavens, awesome and full of glory, we offer unto you your gifts from what is yours, for everything concerning everything, and in everything. Worship the Lamb, the Logos of God. We praise you, we bless you, we serve you, we worship you. And this bread he makes into your holy body. I believe. Amen. This cup also the precious blood of your new covenant. Again I believe. Amen. An eternal life to those who partake of him. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord. Have mercy. Yeah, we ask you, O Christ our God, confirm the foundation of the church. Lord, have mercy. The oneness of heart that is of love, may it take root in us. Lord, have mercy. May the righteousness of faith grow, straighten for us the way of godliness. Lord, have mercy. Control the shepherds and those whom the shepherd confirm. Lord, have mercy. Give splendor to the clergy, asceticism to the monks. Lord, have mercy. Purity to those in virginity, a life of goodness to those in wedlock. Lord, have mercy. Mercy to those in repentance, goodness to the rich. Lord, have mercy. Meekness to the honorable. Help to the poor. Lord, have mercy. Strengthen the elder, chasten the young. Lord, have mercy. Restore the unbelievers. May the schisms of the church cease. Lord, have mercy. Strip the vanity of the heretics and count us all in the unity of godliness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Make us all worthy, O our Master, to partake of your holies 
unto the purification of our souls, bodies, and spirits, that we may become one body and one spirit, and may have a share and inheritance with all the saints who have pleased you since the beginning. Remember, O Lord, the peace of your one only holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. Pray for the peace of the one holy Catholic and Apostolic Orthodox Church of God. Lord have mercy. This which you have acquired to yourself with the precious blood of your Christ, keep her in peace with all the Orthodox bishops who are in her. Foremost, remember, O Lord, our blessed and honored Father, the Archbishop, our Patriarch, Pope Abba Tawadros II, and his spiritual brother and the Patriarch of Antioch, Mark Ignatius of Ram II, and the Patriarch of Eritrea, Buddha Antonios, and his partner in the Apostolic Liturgy, our Father, the Bishop, Baba Yusuf. For our priest, Pope, our daughter, the second Pope, and Patriarch, and Archbishop of Greece, City of Alexandria, and his spiritual brother and apostle of liturgy, the Patriarch of Antioch, Maria Gnatis of Rhyme, and the Patriarch of Eritrea, Buna Antonius, and his partner in the apostolic liturgy, our father, the Bishop of Yusuf, and for all our Orthodox bishops. Lord, have mercy. And those who rightly handle the word of truth with him, grant them unto your holy church to shepherd your flock in peace. Remember, O Lord, the Orthodox Egomens, priests, and deacons. Pray for the Egomens, priests, deacons, subdeacons, and the seven order church of God. Lord, have mercy. And all the servants and all who are in virginity and the purity of all your faithful people. Remember, O oh Lord, to have mercy upon us, O oh. Have mercy upon us, O oh God, the Father, the Pont, to Remember, O Lord, the salvation of this your holy place in every place and every monastery of our Orthodox Fathers. Pray for the salvation of the world and of the city of ours and of all cities, countries, islands, and monasteries. Lord, have mercy. And those who dwell therein in God's faith, graciously accord, O Lord, the waters of the river this year to bless them. Pray for the rising of the waters of the rivers this year, that Christ our God may bless them and raise them according to their measure, that he may give joy to the face of the earth, sustain us the children of men, save the cattle. And forgive us our sins. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Raise them to their measure according to your grace. Give joy to the face of the earth. May its furrows be abundantly watered and its roots be plentiful. Prepare it for sowing and harvesting. Manage our life is deemed fit. Bless the crown of the year with your goodness for the sake of the poor of your people, the widow, the orphan, the traveler, the stranger, and for the sake of all of us who entreat you and seek your holy name. For the eyes of everyone wait upon you, for you give them their food in due season. Deal with us according to your goodness, so you give food to all flesh. Fill our hearts with joy and gladness, that we too having sufficiency in everything always may abound in every good deed. Lord, have mercy. Remember, O Lord, those who have brought to you these gifts, those on whose behalf they have been brought, and those by whom they have been brought, give them all the heavenly reward. Pray for these holy precious gifts, our sacrifices, and those who bring them. Lord, have mercy. As the 
this, O Lord, is the command of your only begotten Son, that we share in the commemoration of your saints. Graciously accord, O Lord, to remember all the saints who have pleased you since the beginning. Our holy fathers, the patriarchs, the prophets, the apostles, the preachers, the evangelists, the martyrs, the confessors, and all the spirits of the righteous perfected in the faith. Most of all, the pure, full of glory, ever virgin, holy, Theotokos, Saint Mary who truly gave birth to God the Logos, and St. John the Forerunner, Baptist and Martyr, St. Stephen the Archdeacon and Proto-Martyr, the Beholder of God, the Evangelist, St. Mark the Holy Apostle, and Martyr, the Patriarch, St. Severus, our Teacher, Dioscorus, St. Athanasius the Apostolic, St. Peter the Holy Martyr, and Archpriest, St. John Chrysostom, St. Theodosius, St. Theophilus, St. Demetrius, St. Cyril, St. Basil, St. Gregory the Theologian, St. Gregory the Wonder Worker, St. Gregory the Armenian, the 318 assembled at Nicaea, the 150 at Constantinople, and the 200 at Ephesus. Our righteous father, the great Abba Anthony, the righteous Abba Paul, the three saints of Amakera and all their children, the cross bearers. Our father, Abba John the Hegel man, our righteous father, Abba Bishoy the perfect man, the beloved of our good Savior, and all the choir of your saints, through whose prayers and supplications have mercy on us all, and save us for the sake of your holy name, which is called upon us. Let those who read recite the names of our holy fathers, the patriarchs who have fallen asleep. O Lord, repose their souls and forgive us our our sins. May their holy blessing be with us. Amen. Glory to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, bless us. Lord, repose them. Amen. Those, O Lord, whose souls you have taken, repose them in the paradise of joy in the region of the living forever, in the heavenly Jerusalem, in that place. And we too who are sojourners in this place, keep us in your faith and grant us your peace unto thee. As it was and shall be it is from generation to generation and unto all the ages of the ages Amen. Lead us throughout the way into your kingdom, 
that as in this also in all things your great and holy name may be glorified blessed and exalted in everything honored and blessed with jesus christ your beloved son and the holy spirit peace be with all and with your spirit again let us give thanks to god the pantocrator the father of our lord god and savior jesus christ for he also has made us worthy now to stand in this holy place to lift up our hands and to serve his holy name. Let us also ask him to make us worthy of the communion and partaking of his divine and immortal mysteries. Precious blood and your precious blood of his Christ, the Pantocrator, the Lord, our God. Amen, amen. Let us pray. Lord God the Great, whose name is Great, the Father of compassion and God of all comfort, who received from our hands we frail sinners this perceptible true and bloodless sacrifice. <laughs> You also, O our Master, the Good One and Lover of Mankind, purify us from every stain of flesh and spirit and make us worthy to partake of your ineffable good things for the salvation of our souls, bodies and spirits and for a defense before your fearful tribune. May we be worthy to dare with boldness to cry out to you, O Holy Father, who is in the heavens, and say, Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever. Amen. In Christ Jesus our Lord, bow 
ਯੋਰ ਹੈ be with all and with your spirit Remember, O Lord, our assemblies, bless them. Save them, man, and with your spirit and the fear of God, let us attend. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The whole is for the holy. Blessed be the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Sanctification is by the Holy Spirit. Amen. One is the Holy Father, one is the Holy Son, one is the Holy Spirit. Amen. The holy body and the precious through blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of our God, Amen. Amen. The holy precious body and the true blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of our God, Amen. I believe, I believe, I believe and confess to the last breath that this is the life-giving flesh that your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, took from our Lady, the Lady of us all, the Holy Theotokos and Mary. He made it one with His divinity, without mingling, without confusion and without alteration. He confessed the good confession before Pontius Pilate. He gave it up for us upon the holy wood of the cross. Of his own will for us all, truly I believe that his divinity parted not from his humanity for a single moment nor a twinkling of an eye, given for us for salvation, remission of sins, and eternal life to those who partake of him. I believe, I believe, I believe that this is true. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. I believe, I believe, I believe that this is true. Amen. Pray for us and for all Christians who say to us concerning them. Remember us in the house of the Lord. The peace and love of Jesus Christ be with you. Let us sing Alleluia. Pray for the worthy partaken of the immaculate and heavenly holy mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you.
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Praise Him for His mighty acts. Upon the symbols of joy, everything that has breath, praise the name of the Lord our God. Alleluia. Now and ever and unto the ages of the ages. Amen. Alleluia. Glory be to our God, Alleluia. O Jesus Christ, the Son of God, hear us and have mercy upon us. Blessed Your good Father and the Holy Spirit.
us the bread of life who, who came down for us from um, heaven has given life to the world and You have brought him forth without blemish. He gave us his body and his precious blood. And we live forever around you. The seraphim, and they cannot look. We behold you upon the altar and we partake of your body and your precious blood therefore we you be fitting with with prophet O angel of this sacrifice who is flying to the highest with this hymn, remember us before the Lord, the theme of us our Let us praise with the angels saying, Glory to God in the highest, peace on earth and goodwill towards men. Amen, Alleluia, glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever. Unto the ages of ages, Amen, we proclaim and say, Bless the water of the rivers. May your mercy and peace be a fortress unto your people. Save us and have mercy on us. You have received the grace of Moses, the priesthood of Melchizedek, the old age of Jacob, the long life of Methuselah, the excellent understanding of David, 
the wisdom of Solomon and the spirit, the paraclete, who came upon the apostles. May the Lord preserve the life and rising of our honored father, the archpriest Pope Abata, and our father, the bishop Abba Yusuf. May the God of heaven confirm them on their thrones for many years and peaceful times. May he subdue all of their enemies under their feet speedily. Pray to Christ on our behalf that he may forgive us our sins in peace accord to his great mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, bless us. Amen. Bless me. Bless me. Lord, the repentance forgive me. Say the blessing. Christ our God. Amen. So be O oh, King of peace, grant us your peace. Establish for us your peace. Forgive us our sins for yours is the power, glory, blessing and majesty forever. Amen. O Lord, make us worthy to pray thankfully our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus, our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Now, love Lord. of God the Father, the grace of his only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, Commune and gift of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Go in peace, may the peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit.